so currently the standard of care in patients who have uh, residual disease within the nodes after primary systemic therapy is axillary lymph node dissection. And there is a background why this is currently the standard of care because studies have shown that over 60% of those patients uh, who have uh, a positive sentinel lymph node, regardless of the tumor burden within that sentinel lymph node, whether it's a micrometastasis or a micrometastasis, will have residual nodal disease at time of axillary lymph node dissection. So if we omit this procedure, it is possible that we are leaving their disease in over 60% of the patients. But we shown in the debate that um, residual disease is not similar to every patient. Some patients with residual disease won't have a high risk for regional recurrence. And uh, since we have now better imaging for patients, we can diagnose them actually at an earlier stage or earlier tumor burden. And some of the patient might not completely benefit from axial lymph node dissection. So we have a, a few ongoing randomized control trials trying to prove this point because we want, we all know that the aim is to cure breast cancer patients. So we need to be very cautious before we change the standard of care.